So uh, the Celia story began when uh, me and my business partners in Prague decided to open a first and only gluten-free restaurant in the uh, Czech Republic. And uh, as everybody knows, the Czech Republic is a homeland of the uh, world's best lagers, uh, as well as a beautiful women. Uh, so uh, we've been looking for uh, for a craft Czech lager uh, which will be which will be suitable for uh, our restaurant, and uh, we found a Celia uh, brewed by a uh, Jatel's Brewery uh, on the north of Prague, and uh, my restaurant was uh, partnering with a brewery on a first tap version of a Celia, and then uh, one and a half year after I moved to London, uh, I met a Nick. Uh, and, uh, we had uh, we had uh, lots of time to chat about what we do, what we are interested in, uh, and what we want to do in the future. And uh, I introduced the uh, Celia to Nick. Uh, we got a few samples across, and uh, we found out Celia as a great craft Czech lager, first of all. And uh, it also has a benefit of, uh, of being gluten-free. So uh, we put a couple of uh, hundred of quid together, and uh, we got the first, uh, first lot of beer to the UK. And the rest is history. It grew and grew. <laughs> so, so tell me ab- about the about the lager because it's got um, it's got barley and hops in, isn't it? Which traditionally are gluten containing. So how do you deglutenize them? What so, happens? What's the process? Uh, there is actually a whole science behind the behind the brewing process. But uh, as you said, uh, we use only natural ingredients. So uh, uh, Moravian barley mold, hundred percent hundred percent sars hops. Uh, which is uh, like a champagne of, uh, of hops and uh, one of the unique bits about the Celia is that uh, Jatez Brewery is only one brewery in the world which is using 100% SARS hops and um, it's also using a traditional uh, 59 days brewing process uh, which, uh, which means 14-day uh, 14, uh, 14 open fermentation so it means that the beer doesn't need any, uh, any artificial carbonation so it's 100% natural carbonation uh, again, 100% uh, use uh, of, uh, of a SARS hops, and uh, the, the science behind the deglutinizing uh, takes part in the end of a lagering process uh, when the enzyme invented by a brewery and a research, uh, research and a brewing institute in Prague. Uh, so the, the enzyme, enzyme is added into a beer, enzyme attracts gluten. Then the beer is filtered, and that's uh, that's how it becomes gluten-free. Wow. So it actually sounds very simple, <laughs> uh, but there are like a 10 A4 pages uh, <laughs> describing the uh, whole whole brewing and uh, deglutinizing process. Think, so, so, sorry, go on. I was just going to say, I think that the the, the key thing is that it's. Uh, it took them three years to come up with the patented deglutinization process, and it's something that, it, it, you know, for Celia, if you took it anywhere else to any other any other location in the world, it wouldn't work because it is all of the local ingredients, all natural, all fresh. You've only got an eight-month shelf life because of that, whereas most beers are a lot longer. Um, and so it really makes a makes a big difference that it's in those the, the cellars it's brewed beneath the, within the castle walls, the 200-year-old castle. Uh, brewed in the cellars below so it uh, keeps a constant temperature so that's what allows the patented deglutinization to work because the enzyme would not work in other conditions so Celia really couldn't exist except for in this one brewery to one location with the water and the Moldavian malt and the sass hops that are there. You're painting a fantastic picture. Wow, <laughs> yeah. that sounds really good. Now paint a picture for me if you can do that about the taste. The taste, oh, well, uh, the taste is, uh, well, sass hops have a very sort of floral mo- aroma. You get a hint of spicy bitterness. So I think the really key thing with, a, with the taste is that it's a, it's a very light lager, thanks to the natural, all natural carbonation and being gluten free. Um, and it also it, it gives a very sort of cleansing palate feel. So uh, it's, uh, it gives a very light aftertaste uh, and a bit of sort of a bitter twang. But Martin's a sommelier, so he's probably a better one to describe the, uh, describe the taste. So uh, if we start with uh, with a color and uh, and a form of uh, of a beer, so the the color is uh, golden, very uh, very intense golden color with a nice rich white foam uh, on the top. Uh, on the nose, uh, you can you can find some aromas of of a citrus fruits, uh, fresh cut grass, and a little bit of a little bit of uh, spice, and then the taste is uh, light and uh, very smooth. Uh, thanks to uh, only natural carbonation, uh, and uh, again you can you can find the same same uh, taste as as, uh, as aroma. So uh, citrusy, uh, nice and hoppy, spicy, hoppy. Uh, again thanks to thanks to the sars hops.
And what would you eat it with, do you recommend? Obviously, you can drink it by itself, but does it go with a particular kind of food, particular kind of taste? Well, as, as a Czech person, I would eat it with everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's especially good with, uh, with a pizza, uh, Mediterranean, Mediterranean diet, uh, which includes uh, pizza and a beer, is uh, well known for, uh, for hundreds of years. So uh, pizza and Italian, uh, Italian uh, cuisine in general, uh, fish, uh, but at the same time, uh, it will be great with a barbecue because summer season is coming and the uh, uh, light and crisp character of Acelia is a great partner with uh, all the barbecues. Yeah. We were actually just featured in Men's Health and uh, they did a sort of a number of, they did six different craft beers that were best for getting a, a six pack. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And so they did the little special on that. You can see it on our website shortly. And in that, they recommended us as best with grilled barbecue food. So for each product, uh, Guinness, Samuel Adams, they had uh, different recommendations. And uh, they said grilled raw barbecue food. So we've been testing that out. So tell me about the distribution and availability. How does that work? So, I mean, we're, we're very new to the UK. So uh, we're making good inroads. We've obviously, because we are such a focus on food, with the SAS hops being, being going very well with fine food and also the natural carbonation gluten-free meaning that it's a very light pills and it goes very well with food. We've really focused on restaurants. So we've got a lot of restaurants in London, a lot of the pop most popular restaurants in London that do gluten food. So uh, Ollie's Fish and Chip Restaurant, Otto Pizza, uh, the Hanbury Arms and the pub that do Annie's Larder Pizza Bases. You can go on our website and get all of these and a couple of five-star hotels that are renowned for their gluten-free food. So we're in sort of all, all the best of those. We just won our first uh, supermarket contract, so we'll be in booths up in the north of England very shortly. Uh, shortly to be in Whole Foods Market as well. So there'll probably be about a month or two months, so hopefully by the end of July you'll be able to go in and get us there. Also get us online at a few different places, including Delhi Divine, uh, which is a great partner of ours. You can get some great products of hers. So just go onto our website and you can find everywhere there.